here we go. This is what we're going to be working on. This tractor has been sitting here or just sitting around for probably 10 years. I know it runs. It's a good tractor. I started restoring it. I took this whole thing down to the frame, got all the rust off, sandblasted everything, repainted it, and uh, I ended up stopping. What stopped me was I ran out of this color, which was, uh, they call it lobster red, but it's an orange. And it was the closest thing I could find to the uh, original Jacobson color. Um, and for some reason, that color just went off the market. It was gone. So I painted this with the next closest color I could find. And it is more of a red. It's hard to tell on camera, but this color does not match that color. So what we're going to have to do here is sand this down and repaint it lobster red. I did end up finding a case of it on Amazon. It was kind of expensive, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to have to fix it. This hood is going to need fixed. Um, we're going to have to sand it down again, and I'm going to paint it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tape over the decals and uh, try to tape those off before I paint it, and I hope that that looks okay. Um, but I don't know where you find decals for this tractor, so I'm just going to do it like that. We are going to have to make uh, a new seat for this pan um, and a new back. And if you guys watched the other Jacobson video I did on the repairs, I do have all that material to go ahead and make that seat. Um, this is pretty neat. I made myself an aluminum shifter knob when I got this it didn't have one on it so I, I uh, turned that down on a lathe and uh, threaded it on there and I like it. it it works very well it's heavy enough the only thing is it's cold when it's cold outside to grab that you better have gloves on so um, obviously the steering wheel is an original it's just a racing steering wheel for a car but that's okay so, this is our next project. I want to finish this tractor up and make it usable. Let's see if I, uh, I don't know if it's over here or not. I have a mower deck for it. There it is. So underneath this shelf here, I, uh, I have the mower deck for it. So I'm going to pull that out too. And we're going to go ahead and get the rust off of that, repaint it and put it on. And we're, we'll make it a mowing tractor. Not like I need it, right? With that monster. But it's it came with it. We're going to put it on and we're going to make this thing right. Maybe we'll even show it at the fair. We'll see how it goes. So that's, uh, that's the next project. I'm going to dig it out of this spot here and get it to an open space where I can work on it. And uh, we'll start getting at it. Welcome back to the shop, guys. This is going to be uh, the start of our our Jacobson Restore. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with the hood. And I want to get all these decals all taped off. And, and uh, then I'm going to lightly sand the metal. And we'll throw a coat of uh, good white paint on it. So that's where we're going to start. Um, after that, I got the, the pan here. We'll go ahead and do the same thing to that. I've got some uh, some of that lobster red. It's really orange, but it's called lobster lobster red paint. And we'll go ahead and spray that down and get it all mounted up. So we'll start with all the body work and go from there. So I've never actually taped decals before and then tried to paint over it. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So I've just got my standard blue masking tape and then I've got this uh, hobby knife set and it's got one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and tape over these decals and then I'll very gingerly go around it with this and just cut that tape and we'll rip the tape off. Hopefully it leaves tape over the decal and then that's, that's how we're going to paint it. So I mean we'll see how it turns out. Like I said, I don't know where to find these decals at. 
So this is just how we're going to have to do it. And it looks like I can see through this tape and uh, I'll know where to cut. I can see my lines. So I'll keep on doing that and I'll be back when I get it done. All right, I got one side done. It's not perfect. It was kind of hard to see. So I ended up grabbing my uh, trouble light and using that. You, as you can see on camera, that trouble light helps to uh, kind of bring things out. So went ahead and I, um, I got this side done. We're gonna prop it up. We're gonna do the other side and then we'll scuff it up and throw some paint on. Well, it would seem that my new microphones have failed me. So we're just going to do a voiceover on this. What I'm doing here is showing you that I've got a 180 grit block and uh, we're going to go ahead and use it to sand down this hood. And uh, as I'm going along here, you can see that there is quite a bit of surface rust and, and dust that comes off of there. Um, once I'm done with this, we'll go ahead and wipe it down with some alcohol, let it dry, and then we'll coat it with some white paint. Okay, now I don't have much paint here, but I do have about a, a quarter of a can, so we'll get started anyway, and I'll have to go pick more up. This is what I'm using here. Um, I find it's pretty good paint, and uh, it works just fine for this stuff. All right, guys, we got two coats of paint on it. Obviously, it's uh, not perfect. It's going to have a little bit of orange peel, but it's a tractor. It's not a car. But that looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than I thought it would, taping those off. So we're going to let it sit here and dry. And uh, probably tomorrow morning, I'll come back out and get it all put on the tractor. Got the tractor sitting over here. I'll get it all put back on and, um, and then we'll start working on that seat pan. I'll get that seat pan up here on the sawhorses and go at that. All right, the hood's on. It's starting to look good. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. So, Onto the seat pan. Let me scuff that up a little bit, throw some paint on it, and we'll get that put on. 
All right, so we got the pan set up here and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down. And maybe you'll be able to see the difference in color uh, as I go. Yeah, I think you can. I just looked at the camera there. You can see how much redder it is. All right, I went ahead and got the second coat put on after it tacked up. That's looking pretty good. It'll have to sit there for a couple days probably to dry. I wanna make sure it's good and dry before we put it on. And uh, while we're waiting for that to dry, I've got this three quarter inch sheet of plywood. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut out for the, the seat. I've got this fabric. And over here I've got foam up on the shelf for making the seats and the back part of it. So uh, let me get all staged up for that. I'll get everything rounded up and we'll be back in a second. So before we move on I wanted to show this to you guys. I bought this tractor, it's 1967 and uh, I bought it from a guy who was about 93 years old and this has been about 15 years ago and he bought that tractor brand new and I got all of the uh, manuals for this thing I mean look at this isn't that great breakdowns and everything um, parts list this is the Kohler engine service manual there's more inside what the am I the only one that keeps on finding classified documents in his garage I've got to figure out what to do with those and then we got the owner's manual here. This is just too cool, isn't it? A lot of history. So let's go ahead and get set up and we'll get back to it. All right, so the measurements we need here are 17 by 14 and a half. So we'll go ahead and measure that out. So there's 17, 14 and a half. I'll go ahead and mark it. Okay, there we go. Now let me get a extension cord set up, but uh, I just want to point this out. If you guys don't have one of these, they're amazing. I love this little handy saw. And I believe they have them that are battery operated too, but these are great. All right, I'll be right back. We're all set up. The reason I'm doing this outside is because I've got paint drying on the inside and uh, we don't need dust and everything flying around in there. All right, there is our seat pan, seat uh, piece. I'm gonna go ahead and mark out the uh, back one and we'll get that one cut while we're out here. Okay, so the back of this is going to be six and three quarters of an inch tall. 
we're going to take it right out of this one here and then coincidentally it'll be 18 which is to that mark or to that cut And three quarter, six and three quarter. All right, now with that back, it actually tapers towards the top. It's 17 at the top, 18 at the bottom. So I'm going to come in a half an inch on each side here and put a mark right there, and we'll go ahead and mark that. So we can cut that taper and it'll fit perfect. All right, I'm gonna do a quick little test fit here just to make sure before we actually go ahead and cover these pieces of wood. Just make sure they'll kind of fit in here. This paint is still not dry, it's pretty tacky, but if I'm careful, that looks good to me. If I'm careful, I won't have to scuff it up. Yeah, that, uh, that looks like it'll work. Okay, so the way I'm gonna cut this foam out so I'm going to lay it right on top here. And then I've got this, uh, I'm going to line up these edges, and I've got this Gerber knife that uh, I'm going to use to, to slice along the edge of this board. We're doing 3 inch foam for the seat, and then we're doing 2 inch for the back. Okay, there we go. There is the cushion for the bottom. There we go. I'll just trim that edge up a little bit and we're set. All right, so to cut the fabric that's gonna go over it, we need to know the dimensions of this board the thickness, and then we need to be able to wrap around a little bit so we can staple it to the board. So, we know this board is 17. The thickness is three and three quarter. So we'll go 17, three and three quarter, three and three quarter. That's uh, 24 and a half. I want to overlap by a couple inches, so, so we'll go 26 and a half that way. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Okay, for this cut, we're going to use a good old box cutter. I just put a brand new blade in it. Just double check my marks here. Yep, we're good. Should cut like butter. There we go. All right, we're using uh, 3 8 T50 staples. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Turned out not too bad. All right, guys, I got the, uh, the seat finished up. I think that probably turned out better than the back. But uh, before I can put it on, that paint has to dry. And then 
I used the uh, piano hinge that was on it for uh, that other tractor. So I've got this one here and I'm going to, I got to cut it down a little bit because let me line it up here. You can see it's just a little bit too long. So I'm going to cut a quarter inch or so off of that. I'll hold it up there and make a mark on these holes and uh, we'll drill it out so that I can attach it to it. All right, so we're going to attach it onto this seat. And what I'm going to use are these little quarter inch head uh, screws are about half inch long. There we go. Now we just got to wait for the pan to dry and we'll go ahead and attach it to that after it's on the tractor. All right, so the seat pan is bolted on. Now what we have to do is this bracket here, we need to line it up with those three holes and bolt this bracket and the seat all together in one shot. All right, we'll go ahead and install the back now. Man, that is looking good. Look at that tractor. It's starting to look like something I can use. All right, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. This is part one. Uh, in the next one, we still have to get this thing to start and run. It's like I said, it hasn't ran in a long time. I did check the gas tank and it has no gas in it, so that's a good sign. Um, we're going to pull that mower deck out and then here is the mower deck lift arm that's going to have to get installed so we'll have to pull a floorboard off for that. The battery, I'm going to go steal a battery from uh, the other Jacobson I've got out there and um, we're going to get this battery board and uh, everything all installed. Um, this here is for the hood, it's a hood prop. I have to see about getting some kind of a a push cap that holds this part onto the frame of the tractor and um, so that's gonna do it that sure does look nice doesn't it so if you guys like what you've seen here if you like this type of video be sure to leave me a like comment and subscribe to my channel you'll see a lot more in the future like this and we'll see you on the next one